What is up guys, my name is JJ Flopez and today guys I'm going to be showcasing you my Fallout Shelter PS4 maxed out uh, vault and I've been playing this game for quite a while since it came out actually on PS4 and I have them, I've reached max level and there's nothing for me to do in this and I'm going to be showcasing you guys everything I achieved in this game so I guess you can see my layout of the base is basically very simple up here I have the bar and the reason the layout is like this is because whenever I get raided I have all these vault dwellers here and they all have the power armor with the most powerful weapons in the game these guys have rocket launchers they have pets and stuff all heavy duty weapon like as you guys can see 18 to 25 22 so it's got a fat man and basically whenever I get raided um, most of the times they don't get past here like middle because they get go here they go here and they go down here and majority of the times these guys will stop anyone I know max level these these guys I usually send them out to loot for me so majority of them are have like max stats and max level here we have my power room down here I have uh, what I have about well I've got a lot of power but as you guys can see in my meter I've it's just it's so hard to fill it up when you max level and when you have like a full vault and these are fully maxed out as well so I can't really do much about them. They will have about like five to six workers each. And yeah, so this is my power room. I made it in layers. I have one layer of water here. This is fully maxed out as well. I also equipped my dwellers with specific like armor. So here the water people have like army suits. The energy ones have army suits. Majority of the workers will have army suits and they all have weapons. They all got different type of weapons. Some of them got weaker weapons than others, like, you know, because they're lower here. And majority of the time, the only thing they got to fight is roaches and fire. There's not much of a of an issue with that. Moving down here, we have, we have like, a, like one what, plant place here. And these guys have their own uniform as well. And this is the new coal plant. This is probably my favorite because it gives you water and food. Which is really useful. And these guys are usually wearing, like, elf outfits and, like, you know, Halloween outfits and stuff. But this is the most expensive, like, builder you can build. It's, it's really expensive. It's like the end game. Pretty, yeah, I can't upgrade it anymore, so I've hit max rank in this one as well. I got, what, 3 three by 3 here. We have my storage units down here. They're fully maxed out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're fully maxed out. Then we have my clothing, my armor, and my haircuts. This is the only guy that has an actual haircut. Like, I just leave him there. This is my armor woman i don't know why every time like she's always really upset like her happiness is 11 percent i tried doing like changing her position and stuff and yeah i just gave up on that so i'm just gonna leave and be here oh we have a guy in there nice yeah this is my sign center so i have three um what is it for radiation packs so we got we got like 18 you get 12 from here 12 from here and we get nine from here then i have my um, health packs here we got three by three as well I have a lot of them as you guys can see like 245 is my max right now I have 85 uh, for radiation packs down here we have my bedrooms these are the dwellers I don't really use because I have nothing for them to do so I just keep them rooms I know they're unhappy and now I'll drop in my happiness to 57% I haven't played this game in a while so I kind of lacked you know all of the um, like you know checking my stats every day to increase I also got a bunch of pregnant women's here I just, you know, have nothing to do with so I just left him here. Just in case someone dies or my dweller dies, I can just get another kid to replace them. These are all maxed out as well. You have my quest center. It's my gyms. And these aren't fully maxed out, some of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one isn't fully maxed out because there's no point, you know. Like, I already have probably most of my characters are fully maxed out and have the best weapon and armor. Here we have additional, like, buildings with the radio station. We have an additional uh, storage down here. For extra space because I did need a lot of it. And these ones I don't really use them. I just train them to have most of the skills. Most of these guys are maxed out. So I just keep them here. But yeah. Most of the stuff. I don't really have any weapons on me right now either. Because I've given them to all my 200 dwellers. And I do send them out sometimes. But right now there's really no point of me doing so. Because all of my dwellers up here. The guard dwellers. And the ones I usually send out. Have majority of the best gear and the best outfits. So, you know, weapon-wise, I might have to go farm for some pets. Try to get some pets because not all of my characters have pets. And I do have basic pets. I don't really have any legendary pets. 
And I only have one Mr. Handy as well. So, you know, when people say, oh yeah, you need so many Mr. Handys, you really don't. I have one. <laughs> I never actually got any from my lunch boxes. So I was kind of surprised. I only got one. And I didn't put a single penny into this game. This is all by playing. I did not spend a dime in this game. This is purely just by playing the game. You know, I, I would pop on this game like, what, three times a day in the morning, in the afternoon, and, you know, in the evening just to pick up my, my resources and just, you know, level up my characters. I'll send them out. Usually when I send my characters out, that's a good tip if you guys want to get some good loot. Um, I recommend you guys have as many health packs as you can and try to give like... What I did at the start is before I started sending my characters out is I had two characters that were max level. So I maxed them out in like two stats or every stat and I sent them out after. And it came to the point that most of my characters have like practically got full stats now. This one, this one's still have to train a bit. But majority of them have like, you know, all of the specs are full. Majority of them max level as well, so you know. It makes it really easy for me to get caps. Usually if I send all of them out, I would get about 40 to 50,000 caps in three days. Which is really good. But there you go, this is my tour of my, my vault. This is vault 2 as well, as the name of it is vault 2. But yeah guys, it just takes me quite a long time to get all of this, you know. it's. It did take me a long time to get my vault set up like this. And before I actually made this, I had a different layout of my vault. So I had like a basic layout vault. So I had to replace all of this. I had to delete most of this. Because I had the regular generators before I um, put in the super reactors. Because they give you way more energy. And you know, it's there are more expensive. But there are more beneficial. So yeah, this is most of it guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel guys, make sure you subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed. And peace out.